Everybody knows there's emissions happening in the world. But what most people don't realize is we don't really know where they come from. If you rely on self-reporting, there's always missing emissions in the data. So I was working on a power plant emissions monitoring at Watt Time, and we realized there's not enough good data out there. So we had this crazy idea that you could use satellites and AI to monitor power plants globally. We didn't really think that anybody would ever say yes to something so experimental. And Google.org took a leap on us. They funded us through the Google AI Impact Challenge. And they also did this interesting thing. They sent us Google.org fellows who helped write software code, trained us in artificial intelligence, and got us scientists figuring out how to actually scale something like this globally in time. No matter how fancy our tech is, we are still human beings. I spent three months at Watt Time as an anthropologist and a Google.org fellow working with Gavin and his team in order to make Climate Trace a more accessible platform for everyone around the world. So what we do is we train computer vision modules to recognize what does a power plant that's turned off look like? What does a power plant that's turned on look like? And then we use all the satellites that are publicly or commercially available to monitor every major source of emissions in the world. More like being a detective in a sense, like an like emissions that. detective, yeah. looking for yeah. those clues for verification and validation. And we got a call from former Vice President Al Gore, who said, hey, it's really cool you all can do that for power plants. But what about all the other forms of emissions? So today I'm really excited. We're onboarding Duke Farms, a new collaborator in the agriculture sector. Climate Trace is a collaborative effort to measure carbon emissions from various sources and then take that data and put it into a format that anyone around the world, eventually in 100 languages, will be able to access. So Climate Trace is basically this giant team up. And Transition Zero is actually the former Carbon Tracker Satellites Analysis team that WattTime teamed up with in the original Google AI Impact Challenge that became Climate Trace. The Climate Trace tool and the data that we feed into it is used every day in our financial and economic models. What we try to do through our data and analysis is provide meaningful, actionable climate decision-making so that somebody can say, I have all of the data that I need to be able to answer this question. I always think that the collaboration is really emblematic of how the climate crisis will get solved. And Climate Trace is a really great example of how that can work well. There are so many people who have devoted their careers and lives to this, and if everybody spends a little bit of time on it, it will get solved.